We can do better. Mention my name in state house. <laughs> asante my G, asante man. Why you enda huko ukaanza kuongea mbaya juu ya waheshimiwa? Ah, nyinyi mnachoma. Nilisema kweli. If the shoe fits. No, no, no. Did you hear this guy's talk? If the shoe fits. But the question is when? But the question is why could you call me and tell me? No, it was just not addressed to you your one MP. Moment. So Maybe it's him today, if he holds his brand. I never lied to him. Obina, come here. I've never lied to him. Eh? Today he can be up there, tomorrow somebody else can, can be there. But he's here because he's the guy at the top. And I think he knew that he will be on the top because even before he was on the top, he used to call himself Oga at the top. Yes. So also call yourself Trudy at the top. <laughs> Chico on the top or Jitabi. Lonelia the top. Yes, sir. So when you call yourself on top, you claim yourself on the top. Obina is on the top right now. And it was so easy for me to bring him on this brand that we are running with Arena Media, not just as just partners, but also uh, their, their official agency. Uh -huh. Yes. And maybe we just get to hear Obina. Maybe right here. Mama, 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 we can do better. Whoa. Mention my name in state house. <laughs> asante my G, asante man. Why you enda huko ukaanza kuongea mbaya juu ya waheshimiwa? Ah, nyinyi mnachoma. Nilisema kweli. If the did, shoe fits. No, no, no. Did you hear this guy's talk? Fit. But uh, the question. But the question is, why could you call me and tell me? No, it was you just not addressed to you your one MP. Impeachment muna kimbiza mbio sana lakini chief chief mumekata ku cancel. In parliament there's something called order paper. All right, so that is something this guy doesn't know. So order paper shows what is important on that day or what is being discussed. Okay, so in the order paper, members of parliament can see that members of Kisi County have brought in a conversation about tea issues in Kisi. Okay, would I be able to know what tea and problems in Kisi are? No, I might not be able to know. But we have like 30 members from Kisi who already know the problem that they are going through, all right? So they will be in a better position to talk about that issue. That's why you sometimes see empty seats in parliament. It's called order paper, all right? An issue like impeachment is an issue that covers the whole country, is an, an issue, shape and everything. It has not been brought. When it's brought next week, it will also be full because not everyone supports it and not everyone opposes it. Are you now learned kidogo? Mimi ni sasa ni mimi unanisomea ni kama mimi pia nimeheshimiwa. Umesikia kidogo? Unyi mtusaidie. Hii mambo ya nini? Mtusaidie. Can I guys ask you something? Okay. If the order paper for example has issues to do with let's say tobacco tobacco planting in Malakisi, Bungoma County. Does it affect Langata? No. All right. But there are leaders from Bungoma who already know. There might be 20 or 30 of them. Do I have to speak or give them a chance to speak more? They'll speak more. True or false? Okay. So Google about all the paper before you start talking. Now, Kianza Kuni Tukana Ivo, Nita Kanso Linda. But this is my boy, this is my boy, this is my son, and I love you so much, my brother. Asante, thank you. Keep on doing what you're doing, what you're doing is right. Yes. Asante. Eh, eh, true, Diuko. Kumbafu, talk up. Kidogo, Tuki. Uh huh. Nicholas only about MP Salasia. He mentioned you are his good friend, and I'm a friend of Sana. But you're going to be talking about. Maybe what's your take on whatever he does on social media, dramas? Salasia is the most is the most hardening one of the most hard working MPs ever. If you follow Salasia, you'll see the work that he's doing. Not everybody understands who Salasia is. There's a time he likes to post what he posts, but then there's a time to work. So Salasia is not only an MP but also a top, top, top content creator. Mm -hmm. So you guys need to follow him more. You need to understand him more. But of all MPs, 
the one person who will be elected before any of us is Salasia because he works so hard for his people, he understands his people, and it will be very good if you people understand him. Forget about what you see him post. He's on the na Shere. But in the Mumias, you people follow him, you see what he does. Yes. He's still on politics. There's this comment that has been, and I'm going to say that on Instagram, people are commenting, he langata sasando in Abamba. Of course, looking at the pro project that you are doing mm. uh, and uh, developing Langata uh, constituency. Now, I've also seen a couple of them asking, Sababu Langata ndo inabamba. Why don't you extend this maybe to other constituencies around Nairobi, <laughs> things like that? I am elected in Langata and mm. I, I decided to say uh, the people who matter to me are the people of Langata constituency who gave me the honor to represent them in the 13th parliament. I'll do anything possible because when it comes to 2027, they will ask me, Jalas, we sent you to the 13th parliament. What have you done? I'll give them my scorecard. They'll tell me, uh, Jalas, you've done well or you haven't done well. Do I deserve another chance? Yes. Do you not? Life goes on. So to me, it's Langata, it's about the roads, it's about the water issues, it's about schools, it's about anything that lies under my powers to do to make sure that I change the lives of the people of Langata and that's what I do. If you follow me you've seen what we are doing. Yes. Nobody has ever built two schools from the ground up in any constituency. Today in their, th in their second year I've done that. I've done 46 new roads. I've done and sealed in four kilometers of our underground pipe in Langata. We've done 117 million in Bursaries in two years. So the people of Langata chose me to work for them. Mimi na ishia tu maisha angu, mi uza samaki uko wapek, pese ya wanainchi ni ya wanainchi, wafanye na ukaze. I have no business stealing people's money. What happened? Sasa hivi watu wanajuliza shula mbayo, sasa hivi watu wanilea kwa enroll. Iko the first chance ni ya watu wa Langata ama anyone? Anybody can come. Langata is open to anyone. Anything that we are doing is for the public, not only mine. Yes. What happens in 2027 when they say now, maybe now the last Ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to introduce Governor 047. When it comes, the people of Nairobi will decide. Yes. Uru Gardens, yes. Yes, you know, my problem is with the Uru Gardens, the fact that it has not been open to the public. They host events every single day, but the people of Langata has it only as their own green area. Before it was closed, the people of Langata used to train there, they used to run, people used to chill, but now it's been locked and it is under army. So we are pushing them to make sure that they hand it over. Why would they host gigs there but not open it to the public? That's what we were asking for. So we hope that uh, they listen to us. I've already put up a, a statement in Parliament and we hope they listen to us. Yes. Thank you so you much. Uh, uh, you have uh, been uh, at the forefront in uh, inspiring the youth and uh, empowering them, especially with, uh, uh, with the, uh, those, uh, those uh, things that you have brought up in Langata specifically, like the TVET issue and that. Uh, there is this Gen Z youth who has been going around showing those projects that have been stalled by government that were started and were not finished. What do you think? When it comes to Langata, when Morara comes to Langata, we will not see a project that was started with Jalango and stalled. I've just finished a whole TVET that is complete. We started a school, it is complete, that's Kongoni. We've started uh, Karen Booth School that is going to, complete, to be completed and it's ongoing. we done all the roads, as we don't start projects that we can't finish. So Morara will find himself not very useful when it comes to look for projects in Langata because all our projects are completely done. But I'm happy that he's coming out to show whatever he's doing. But also for Morara, he must learn that now he's not on social media anymore, he's in politics. And politics is not uh, everybody's cup of tea. People can love you online, but people might not love you everywhere. So he has to start making sure that, uh, number one, he does not go to meetings that he has not planned. And this one I wanted to tell him from that time. Personally, I learned it the hardest way. 
kuna time nilikuwa naendaga kwa mkutano ya watu atijalasi watu wananipenda sema kupigwa sema kukimbizwa sema ikuniramba so in politics number one, if you have not planned for that meeting don't go number two, not everybody loves you number three, if you don't serve their interests forget about it kama pale bombers yes it was a public meeting that morara was supposed to have been welcomed all right but inside that meeting there are people who might not be happy with what he's been doing that's what happened to him but i wish him quick recovery so that he comes back into the ground but i think ameanza kuona siasa amepiga break kidogo sasa ndio sasa unajua mambo yote amekuwa kifanya imekuwa ni mtandao sasa juzi tu alikaribishwa sio niulize mimi nikipigwa jamani sasa mimi nilisalimiwa mara ngapi na sasa kusalimiwa kidogo unaanza kulia kama usilie sana kuja kwa siasa sasa tupigwe pamoja you grow a thick skin and life moves on yes mm. thank you so much wewe una kinyasuti uko mekavia sana salasha na yesi yake ulikuwa against yesi yake kwa nini Ah, no no it's a lasia akwati unajua kwa sasa lazima uamue it's either yes or a no for a very long time salasia was not showing anyone which side he was but fortunately he showed it out when the vote came and he voted no to impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa that is his position yes right so thank you so much appreciate you guys keep on doing what you guys are doing uh, let me give out a big shout out to the social media crew the youtube uh, bloggers everybody who's running their own small tv in a small way keep on going it is never easy to start but at the end of the day one day it will bear all the fruits yes. one thing i know i love you guys so much thank you, you so much asante ni sana